Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can make a Star Wars style credits intro sequence inside of DaVinci Resolve 14 without too much trouble. So in order to do this, you're probably first going to want to grab an image of outer space if you're keeping in line with the Star Wars theme. Now the image I've got here is a little bit more flashy, but you can go ahead and drop whatever you want onto the video one track. Beyond that, we're going to be using scrolling text title sequences. In order to do that, inside of the Edit tab, go to the Effects Library, Titles inside of the Toolbox, and then choose Scroll. You can drop that into Video Track 2, and you're going to have a very basic scrolling text. Of course, we need to make some changes. So one of the first things you're going to want to change is going to be the font. In the intro over here, I'm using one called Star Jedi, which you can pick up on defont.com. So if you click on the drop down here, you can change it to Star Jedi, which is clearly based off of the Star Wars type fonts. Um, so that's a good starting place. Next, we want to center the text alignment so that it's scrolling through the middle of the screen. Thirdly, we want to change the color of the text. I'm going to be setting it to HTML notation, F1. E4, 53, which is basically a very vibrant yellow color. Now, in order to control the speed at which the title text is going to be scrolling, you have to set the duration of the title text. So if you make the title take longer, it's going to be scrolling slower, and if you make it very short, it's going to scroll bottom to top very fast. So to test that, we want to uh, actually just play back the clip and see how fast it's scrolling. So, as it is right now, that's probably about right, but just note you can extend or lower the length of the track in order to speed or slow it. Next up, we need to go to the video tab of the inspector here, and we're going to be setting pitch to a positive value. This is one of the key parts of the Star Wars type intro, where the text appears slanted as it scrolls from the bottom and disappears into outer space. So now we can play it back one more time and see how the title sequence is going at about 0.5 pitch. That's probably about where we want it to be. Next, we need to set some text for this title sequence. Now, we're actually going to be using two different scrolling texts uh, because we want the title text to be larger than the rest of the text. So here I will just copy the text over from my original. So if you need to add a new line, just make sure that the text is on a new line. And by doing that, you'll be able to get a result like this. And now in order to make a second scrolling text, instead of adding one directly from the effects library, I'm going to copy the scrolling text, paste it, and move it onto video track 3. So now we have two different scrolling texts. And mostly what we need to do now is grab the text, and this can be whatever story introduction you want. This is just some random stuff I generated online. So I'm going to take that text, and I'm going to fill in this text box with all of that information. Now if we play this back, we clearly have an issue where the second title sequence is overlapping the first one, because there's not enough time for the second title sequence to actually play back. And it's actually too big of a font size for it to show lines of text on screen properly. So first off, I'm going to extend this way over here so that it goes up much slower. And secondly, I'm going to lower the font size down. In the initial intro, I had it at about 37, so we'll set it at 38 here. And now we can try to play this back and see if it's working well. You may, of course, need to adjust the position of the first or second scrolling text to make them line up better. So if we move the second scrolling text earlier in the timeline, there'll be less space between it starting and the initial title ending. So let's play that back one more time here. Maybe we could even shorten this track a little bit to make it go faster and move this over just a bit more. So let's see how that goes now. So if we look at the video frame now, we can tell that until the text gets about halfway through the screen, we can barely read it. So I'm actually going to go to the video tab, the transform for that second scrolling text, and lower the zoom down, um, let's say about 0.7. And by doing that, we'll be able to read the text much, much sooner. You may even want to make it go further than that. 
And at this point, that's actually not too bad. So just to play it back one more time, let's go ahead and do that. So one more change I'll make is to slow down the first title sequence on the video track 2, and we'll play it back one more time. It should go a little bit slower. Ideally, we do want those to link up. Ideally, we do want these to link up in speed, so a little bit of trial and error will be needed. Of course, you don't have to make it 100% perfect. It's uh, really how you want to take the original and adapt it to your thing. So, that's basically how you do it. You can, of course, make a few other minor adjustments if you want. But that's going to be it for this video. I've been Chris, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in my future video content.